What's up guys, welcome back to another episode here in Hanapa Action. I'm Aaron, you can follow me on Instagram at ihaahi808. So go do that. Um, I post, you know, fishing, diving, all that good stuff. Um, today's a special episode, we just hit 2,000 subscribers last week. So thank you guys, you guys are the best. Um, in honor of that, I know you guys see me go shallow all the time. And you guys probably like, yeah, this guy, go deep already. So, I'm gonna go deep water, we're gonna go off the kayak in about 40 feet of water today. Um, it should be good fun, conditions look good, winds are super light, so we'll see how it is. And yeah, hopefully shoot some good fish. Potential, alua, moo, blue water, I don't know. Should be fun. Um, and then before we start, I'm just gonna show off. We're working on the little fish room down here. We're gonna try to make this like a gun wall. But we got my fins right there. We got my waterproof backpack. Print, 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 print. That's the newest print, the newest addition to my wall. We gotta put uh, this print. That's a good one. Big oohoo. Turn over here. Get more oohoo right there. Big um um. I only have me over here as a kid. Back when I used to get so much fish. Look at that. Dude, I used to be so good and then I don't know what happened to me. But. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. Um, I haven't been kite diving by myself ever. So let me just, you know, throw that out there. But it should be fun. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, here we go. Woo! <laughs> You guys are probably running, Aaron, what kind of kayak you get, Aaron? You get a pedal kayak? No, I get one, one sidekick right here. Um, I believe it's a Malibu. Oh, it's an ocean kayak, whatever that is. It's a one and a half person. So my dad used to use it when I was a kid. But yeah, good kayak. Gets the job done. There's my two man, that's my one man. So, should be good. We're going to go out deep today. I already said that. I'm too excited, man. I don't, I can't focus. Ugh. So I'm just getting all of my kayaking gear ready. Um, we'll pan down to it here. These are my my reels. I use cheap reels, but I really love these things. I finally got two new ones. My dad bought them, so I'm super psyched on that. Um, they get one like cool bail system. So if when you flip this back thing right here, it loosens and then, yeah, good live bait stuff. We're gonna bring out the poles, I think, just in case. Bring out my wood gun. Um, I'm, oh, lighting, lighting, lighting. There you go. I'm planning on getting a new gun, uh, Cap 110, I think. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, I'm still trying to like decide between getting a Cap 110 or buying a underwater housing for my, my Canon. I have a Canon M50, if you don't know, that's what this is on right now. So I'm like, do I want a gun or do I want like a good camera for filming? But I don't know, I'll figure it out. Let me know if you guys want to see like super high quality underwater crap. Because then if you guys don't want to see that, I'm just gonna get a new gun and go laser fish with that thing, but. Um, yeah, I just gotta get ready. Finish packing the car. It's the morning or the, the afternoon before my dive. Um, I leave super early when I go kayak diving. I'm gonna be out of the house by like 5 o'clock, so. Should be fun. But, we'll see what we do. I've been talking a lot, sorry. So I'll just start rolling the clips right about now. Here we go. This is gonna be my first shop of the day. Dropping on this giant school of collas. Um, these are all like 5, 6 pound collas, so just absolute tanks. Um, you can see the small Joe, not a small Joe, a big Joe, or a Munu there. So I'm like deciding whether I want to get to the bottom and actually like try to hunt that Joe. But it's my first drop. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to shoot something, right? Shoot something big that I know I'm going to hit. So I pick out a big collar. I'm tracking this guy. Shoot him a little low, but I mean, that's fine. I let him run. My drag is really loose on my reel because I know I'm in deep water and I want to get back to the surface. So I just let that fish run. Once it get close to this top, I start to just lock it up so it doesn't get into a cave or anything. And that's just about all there is to say. Real simple. Um, you see low shot, but it's a call it holds. And I was on the board, so yeah. Pretty good way to start the dive. And then here, this is the drop that you guys all want to see is the moves. You see them. I'm dropping down, bomb dropping him. It usually doesn't work on move, but there's this big ledge in the front that pushes his move back towards me, you're gonna see in a second. He doesn't wanna pop over that ledge because that means he's coming closer to me. So he swims a, like, you know, in line with his ledge. I got a perfect shot on him. Um, I see that the shack was all the way through, so I just loosen up, get back to the surface, and I'm pretty confident at this point that, you know, I have this fish. This fish is not going anywhere. 
perfect shot. Shaft went through. Um, yeah, a real textbook bomb drop. That big ledge right there is the only reason I caught this fish. It pushed this fish back into me, so that's why I dropped before the ledge. Um, not, I was thinking about trying to get on the ledge and try to shoot him from there and hide, but I thought he would just book it towards the other side. So I think I made the right decision going for the bomb drop on this fish. And then you can see it got tangled up in some fishing line on the way back up. But, you know, the fishing line didn't really stop it so from coming up. So, got lucky there. And this is my first ever move that I've shot. So, I was psyched out of my mind. I was like, ah! Um, yeah, pretty exciting for me. It was a big one too, like four and a half, five pounds. I think it was five? Five pounds. Yeah, five pounds. So, yeah, really nice fish. And here, this is going to be another drop. Um... I don't know what I'm going to shoot on this drop. We'll see. You'll figure it out with me, I guess. Um, I'm probably hunting this ledge. Okay, so I'm soccer. You can see that's a Pualu, I think, or a Palani down there. Um, I'm doing one of my really slow bomb drops. Um, I do these slow bomb drops for two reasons. One, I have a hard time equalizing, so it helps when I go down really slow. And then two, when you do this slow bomb drop, you can get really close to the fish. So he ledges up. And oh, I remember what happened now. So I'm still trying to, you know, track him. I can't really find them, but then this huge Vimpachi swims up. And I'm like, you know what? I'm already down here. I might as well just shoot this Vimpachi, you know, while I'm down here. Because I don't want to waste a drop. So, take off my first band. And I'm trying to get an angle on this fish. So I don't shoot directly into the cave. Um, but, you can see this fish is following me. I'm swimming left, he's swimming left. So, it's kind of annoying. I'm like, come on, Vimpachi, swim to the right. Give me an angle. He finally swims to the right. I take my shot. And, um... Again, not too much to say about that. Pretty, pretty simple textbook stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this drop. I mean, so it sometimes happens. You don't get the fish that you want, but you're already down there. You might as well take a fish. So I ended up shooting this giant Mimpachi. So pretty, pretty happy with that. And this is going to be the last clip of the day. Drop me down, this is my only clip of me actually, you know, doing some proper hunting down here. I'm gonna get to the bottom, I'm gonna scratch reef a little bit. I was expecting this to be a really long breath hold. So I saw the call, so I was like, I'll scratch a reef, you know, try to bring something in. And instantly, if you look to the right here, a nice table boss comes in, so I'm like, okay, I don't even need to have a long breath hold. Take the shot, you can see I hit that Manini as a collateral, so, you know, <laughs> that just sometimes happens. Sorry for the, the poor Manini there. Uh, this table boss holds up, I get him out, um, I can tell it's a good shot so I don't bother going down and grab the fish. I usually like to grab the fish but I can tell it's a good shot. So on a surface I just focus on, you know, as I surface I focus on trying to get out this Manini, just get him out of the way and then we get the table boss into my hands. This is a pretty good one. Um, table boss is a really good eating fish if you don't know. Um, my dad really likes eating them, they're one of his you know, personal favorites so I always shoot them. And Pretty good dive, I mean, I caught a lot of fish. I'm trying not to say and yeah, because you know, I think you guys have been catching on that I say that a lot, but I'm just gonna keep on saying that. But that was the end of this dive. I shot, you know, some good fish, so I was pretty psyched on that. So as you can see in that clip, I just shot my first move. Um, I'm super excited, like, I was tripping out, like I actually got one, but I didn't get it the way I want to get one. Um, I caught that move on a bomb drop, that's what that technique is called, when you're going from the surface down and not hitting the bottom. I really want to get a move the right way by scratching a reef and calling them in. Um, sitting on the bottom, hiding behind structure, bring them right in, like the whole pile in front of you. So, I still, I feel like I didn't do it right, you know, for my first move. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining that I got one. It's a five pound move, it's a really quality fish, but I'm still kind of searching for that feeling that I want. Um, yeah, for me, because, you know... I say, you know, I die for, you know, for my food and stuff, but again, I always say, like, we have food, other food. So, I also die for, you know, like, I'm fine, searching for these certain experiences, right? Like, shooting that Alula in Shallow Water, that was a crazy experience. And I just didn't get the feeling that I wanted shooting this move off of a bomb drop. So, I'm still searching for that satisfaction of, you know, outsmarting one of these crazy smart fish. I mean, technically, I did outsmart it because I used that ledge to my advantage, but I'm still searching for that that you know that situation where I'm on the bottom and I'm bringing them in um, it almost happened in the last video or two videos ago but yeah hopefully it happens soon and I think the rest of this video is just gonna be cooking and maybe talking about Mu a bit more uh, I'm not sure but yeah whatever something's gonna happen 
after this. I don't know yet, but yeah, here we go. So I just got back from that kayaking session, and as you can tell, I mean, it was amazing. It was literally the best kayak session of my life. No, that's not true. I've caught big ava avas. So that was the best kayak session of my life. Or big kagamis. That was also the best session of my life. But this is this is good. This is close. You're a big. That call was five pounds gutted. So this thing is mad. It was like 5.3 gutted. But the star of the show. Let me grab him out. Oh my god. Look at this fish. Beautiful moo. Moo are just. They're, I mean, they're gorgeous fish. Like we shoot them and stuff, but man. And the moo, the cool thing about moo, or you know, they're just a cool fish in general, but moo have these really, these nuts uh, molars, like human molars, right? It's because they eat a lot of crabs and stuff. So they have these two, these are like their gripping teeth in the front. And then they have these for crab and stuff. But yeah, this is a big moo. Throw the shaka down. Uh, it's a giant, it's a beautiful, beautiful moo. I don't know the regular name for them. I'll look it up and then I'll like type it in. But it's something to do with their eye, I think. They got a big eye, so they're like nocturnal hunters. So why people catch them dunking at night. But yeah, well, it looks small when I do that. No, it's a, this is a hefty fish. About five pounds, I reckon. We'll weigh them after, but yeah. Beautiful, and as you can see, big kala, big table bot, not big, I've caught bigger, but super good dive, I'm super, super psyched on this move. This is a good fish for 2000, huh? You guys, getting a treat, getting moo out here. Gonna throw him back in Kula. And then, let's talk about this kala a little bit. This is a fat kala. Kalas have these mean spines. Like, look at the size of these things. So if you get hit, don't get hit by these. My dad got hit and he still has scars, so. Things are nasty. Oh, throw this back. Holy crap, it doesn't even fit in the cooler. Oh, it's because I have the ice bag under it. Yeah, I'm smart. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I don't know what's gonna happen now in the video. Um, it's not done yet, but I don't know. I think, I don't know. You'll see what happens next. I don't know what the plan is. We'll do something, something fun. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Here we go. Oh, I look horrible. So right now we're gonna cook the moo. My dad is gonna do the cooking. I just got home from volleyball, so I'm not presentable. Look at this beautiful moo meat. This is my first time I've ever eaten it. Have you ever eaten it? No. Oh, it's the first time for both of us. Me too. I'm not surprised that you. I'm not surprised that you haven't eaten it. Okay, so a little salt. So our ingredients: real simple, pepper, salt. And this is, you know, the good, the good flavor. Squeeze ginger. We have some green onions. Um, people use all kinds of greens, but we're pretty simple. Then we do the good old tea leaf method. The ginger, yeah, I love. Okay, so. I'm a big fan of the ginger. Squeeze ginger. That's like the right stuff you get at sushi places. If you guys don't know, right? It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, but it's uh, not processed as much. And this method of steaming, real simple, all we're going to do is put water in the bottom of that pan, cover it up with tin foil, and that's it. Easy peasy. Rolling? It's rolling. So we have, this is the, the slab of um, moo that I, I took the skin off when I filleted, so I'm just cutting it into sashimi. Um, I'm not the greatest sashimi cutter, but... That looks. Oh, I should cut these. Cut these in half, yeah. Well, you should cut. Square oh, I should cut this in half. Looks good to me. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Just out. All that's in there right now is some green onions and some teriyaki sauce. 
Looks good. Real simple recipe. So, um, as I was editing this video, I realized the part where I was eating the fish, um, I looked like a, like a ridiculously horrible. I mean, I don't look good now. You can tell my hair is all frizzy and stuff. But, yeah, I, I got home playing volleyball and I, no, I, I didn't like it. So, we just got rid of that. So, sorry you don't get my, like, live reaction for eating the moo, but it was really good. The sashimi was really good. Um, kind of on the softer side for reef fish that I catch. Like, I'm used to put peel and stuff that's... Usually pretty firm. My camera just went out. Is it? Oh, it's working. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the sashimi was super good. The um, what else did I do? The the, 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 the steamed it was like crazy good. I was like, oh, it's just that super simple tea leaf method that I always do. Um, if you guys don't know what that method is, it's in another video. I'll link whatever video that is up there. I just got to figure out what video it is. But um, yeah, there should be more move videos in the future. I just ordered a Cap 110 spear gun. Um, if you guys don't know, I'll come show you right now, but I'm currently, currently rot. I mean, oh look, my fish tank is going to be super loud. Um, I'm currently using a hatch, hatch 100 centimeter spear gun. Um, I just re-oiled the thing. Um, oh, I might as well just show you guys this while we're in here though. While, while we're in this fish room, little move print for you. I think it came out pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with that. I, mean, I also caught that big table boss out there. So I'll come down here. Um, oh, this is not the big table box from that day. Sorry, this is a different day. This is a giant, a, a different day. But, oh, light, 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 Let me get back by the door. Yeah, um, there should be more movie videos. I got a, you know, a longer gun, a little bit more range. I was having a little bit of trouble with the 100 um, on, like, actual moose stalks. So I was getting close to them, but not, like, comfortable where I was like, oh, this shaft is going to go all the way through. So I just got a longer gun, um, and now I'm, like, extremely poor. So, yeah. I maybe shouldn't have no I should have got the gun I'm happy with that decision um but yeah thanks for watching this video if you want to see more make sure to check out the rest of my videos and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content um and I don't know what else to say um oh oh no I don't want to say that yeah thanks for watching